the day has finally come that I'm gonna install my Max Air fan. <laughs> Now there has been a reason why I've been putting this off for so long. So thanks to my dad, we did actually make a template so we could work out whether this was gonna fit up here or not. Because of the roof bars and the size of the Max Air fan, it's gonna to need to go there. This bar will need to be cut here and there and just removed completely. The other issue I've got is you've got this little gully here, you see. So in order for us to have enough clearance on this side for the Max Air fans to actually be lifted up, that will need to come forward a little bit and probably go about there. It's just wherever I cut along that line. If I put it there, it's going to be a little bit too close. If I go about there, that will give me enough clearance for the fan to be able to lift up. Now, the other issue is obviously the ridge that we were just talking about is along here. Okay. So if I come slightly past that, it gives me very limited space to put the screws through. But if we use the, the insert for the fan and put it roughly where we reckon it needs to go, I still think there'll be enough space so the screws actually come down just through one sheet of metal. But like anything, I probably just need to get the roof rack cut now so I can get that painted so that I'm not gonna be getting black paint everywhere when I'm cutting the other hole. So that's the first job. All right, so the point of the bag is just to stop any sort of loose, any fine little bits of metal actually touching the paintwork. And it'll be easier to clean up. I mean, I will clean the roof afterwards anyway, just to make sure that no little bits of metal have gone on the roof. Because the last thing I want is for it to start rusting and you'll just get like lines of rust all over the place. So that's to prevent any fine bits of metal. All right, moment of truth. Holy shit. made the mistake of uh, stopping because I saw sparks and now the jigsaw blade is out very hot but also stuck in there. So I'm going to have to replace the blade and uh, get that out somehow. Now you just give it a little tidy up. And then just a little lick of paint. This isn't anything special, this is just plain black hammerite. Now the reason why I've left a little bit of this bar there, rather than taking it back there, it's pretty simple. If I ever want to put this bar back across, I've got some, an easier area to weld it back onto. But not only that, I'm gonna put a plastic grommet in there anyway that you can order online just to stop it from whistling so it's not really going to make much of a difference and now that that's all cut painted and most importantly cleaned it's now time to start building the wooden frame to go around here. So because the roof up here is really uneven, I've actually, on this uh, frame that I've built, 
I've actually put a spacer in here with just a bit of ply. When the fan is fitted and it's screwed through, it's not gonna pull the roof in any section. Um, so the, the slightly lower bit, which is now here, will be for where this sort of ridge is here, and then the other bit will sit in that gully there. That's my theory anyway, it should work. So now I guess all there is to do is to cut the hole in the roof. So the masking tape is literally just so that I've got a nice surface to draw my pencil line on and I'll cut to that. Now obviously the bin liner on the inside is just to collect any sort of small bits of metal that might fall down through into the van, just to keep it a little bit tidy. Not that I've hoovered in there for a while, but anyway, the first job is drilling a hole. And we'll drill the hole just so that we can get the jigsaw blade in the hole and then start the cut. And now we cut. Well, it fell. That whole bag thing, I even tried taping it up. That was all for nothing, because now there's metal everywhere. Now, the next step on this would be to file it all back, like, kind of like what I did with the roof bars, and paint it, but I'm just gonna make sure that the, uh, that the shroud fits just before I do. Fits in the gap, but as you can see, that is wobbly as anything, but that's simply because this roof was pretty dented and pretty pitted, but once, it's screwed in and the wooden frame behind it's all in place. It should make it nice and square. Now, I'm trying to mark the holes for the screws. I can't get the pencil long enough. I've literally sharpened it to the best point I can and it still won't get through. The Sharpie won't work. So what I've done is I've taped and drawn the holes on the tape and then I just have to make sure that I take the tape off and then put the shroud back on top to make sure that it fits and it all lines up properly. That all lines up. going to clean the surface with methylated spirits just to make sure it's nice and clean before I stick the mastic down and the main stuff I'm going to be using to actually seal it is this uh, mastic sealing strip which is made for caravans and motorhomes and things I got it off Amazon it will be on my website so you can just order it from there if you want um, ordered it came next day so but what I'm gonna have to do with this it is because none of this surface area is at all level we've got dips here dips here i'm gonna have to build it up with multi layers of this mastic so that it's completely level before the vent goes on top and i'm going to start on this side because this is probably the highest point A pair of scissors and there we go These are the wrong clamps to use. Once all the screws are in, obviously I'll trim this mastic back a little bit and then it'll get sealed again with the sealant that I've used for everything. People keep asking me what that is. It is on my website. I got it from Screwfix and it literally, it's like a no nonsense glue, sealer, everything. It does a lot. And I've used it for most things on this van. But also what I'm gonna use it for is put a little blob on a piece of wood like this, line your screws up and then just give them a little roll in the, in the sealant just before you pop them in and that should give us a better seal. 
Okay, the moment of truth. Well, it fits anyway, but struggling to get these holes to line up here. Why is it whenever anyone else does anything like this, it all just fits together really nicely. And then as soon as I try to do it, it's like the roof's not gonna be flat. This isn't gonna line up. Very frustrating. I worked it out. I think it's because these need to be popped up like that. So now with it all popped up, Fingers crossed that should line up. Before I do the big reveal and take the plastic cover off, I'm gonna trim all this back just to tidy it all up and then I'll go around with the sealant gun over all the screw heads and over that as well. You know what, I started cutting all that away and it does look a lot tidier with it cut. However, what's the priority here? Like no one's gonna see this up here. You know, if I do build a roof deck up here, it will be boxed around this anyway. So the priority would be making it waterproof, not necessarily making it look that pretty. And there's no reason why Later on down the road, I can trim it back if I feel like I want to, but for now, I'm just gonna leave it. I don't really want to tempt fate. Okay, so let's do the big peel. It's on and it fits perfectly. Now, I don't know about you, but I would say that was a successful day, even if it didn't all go to plan, but this is, Jesus. But this is one of the things when, when you're an amateur like me and you do things like this, you can watch as many videos as you like, but we will all come across our own problems. But it's about how we solve those problems. And I think I solved that adequately not necessarily well just adequately as i said earlier any of the stuff i use in this van build it's all on my website which is www.lovesundays.uk also i'd like to thank everybody who's bought me a beer in the link in the description really appreciate it this van build is starting to get really expensive now so any little help like that really does help but to be fair i did actually spend it on beer it's almost like a reward for like a hard day's work but if you want to continue watching this van build or if you want to watch it from the start, check out the playlist right there and it will start from the beginning. And I'll see you next week. Cheers. Cheers.